Hello and welcome to another London visited walk. Today I thought we'd do something completely different and if you can see behind me just down here you can see the canal and yes it's the Regent's Canal. Now the Regent's Canal runs around the north of central London. Um, most people when they think of water in London think more of the River Thames but there's a beautiful towpath that we're going to do today which takes us from the back of King's Cross and you've already seen the route that we've taken there from King's Cross Station out to here, Cold Drops Yard and Cold Drops Yard is just fantastic to come to on its own and we're going to walk from here today down to Camden and then onto Regent's Park so it takes you into Regent's Park. Now interesting enough if you go the other way from Cold Drops Yard you hit a massive tunnel um, there's a tunnel that takes the canal under Islington uh, and comes out the other side but it's not something that you can walk down so we are going to hit the other way and as we're walking down we're going to show you everything en route so welcome to our walk along the Regent's Canal so we're at the back of King's Cross Station and this is Granary Square um, and here at Granary Square you can see in front of us they've actually put this up recently as an art installation but can you see here these waterfalls now the reason I'm showing you these waterfalls is during the summer they're all timed to go off and they go flying up and children are encouraged to come running through here and have fun during the summer. So on a warm day, this is a fantastic place to come. And as you can see, there's plenty of places to come and sit uh, whilst everyone's running around and enjoying the hot weather. But once again, that's for summer only. So you've got quite a few fountains here. So if you fancy coming up for a bit of uh, wet weather cooling down in the middle of the heat of summer, this is definitely a place to come. Now, whilst you're up here at Granary Square, you've also got plenty of places that you can eat. And actually, I would suggest if you're going to come up here and eat, then you've got here, which is right in front of you, which is Cold Drops Yard. Now, we've done videos previously on Cold Drops Yard. It's a fantastic little find. Um, so I'm going to put a link to that up in the top right hand corner for you so you can click on there. Now, also what's interesting, and we're going to see this as we walk past in a minute, can you see that sort of scaffolding there? Now, for those that come from England, you'll recognise those. They were once upon a time gas holders, big industrial gas holders. And now they've been made into luxury flats. Let's have a closer look as we get, close, get closer round by the towpath. So I'm really looking forward to today's walk because it's going to take us from King's Cross all the way to Camden Market and then onto Regent's Park. Now, if you're coming to Camden, best day to do Camden definitely is on a Saturday because that's when you've got the market fully in operation. I dare say we'll see a few bits around Camden Lock as we're going through there today but we will do a video in the future on Camden Market on a Saturday and we'll come up here and take the hustle and bustle. So as you get into this lower part you've got here which is Cold Drops Yard. Now the whole area of Cold Drops Yard and Granary Square used to be railway sidings for King's Cross Station and as you can see it's been completely regenerated and it's a lovely little find just outside of central London. Uh, for retail also lots and lots of restaurants um, that building that you can see there with a curved roof is a major samsung technology center which you can go in and play with their technology which is great and that is cold drops yard there's a lot more to look at but here as we go through that's our destination that's where we're going today the canal Right, let's head down towards the Regent's Canal, which is just over 200 years old. It was opened in 1820, and here we're just behind Cold Drops Yard, and we come to the first basin. So it really is going to be a nice towpath walk, taking us off towards Camden. And let's see what sights we have in store. I was expecting it to be extremely flat. Of course, I forgot there are locks along the way. <laughs> there are going to be times when it's going to be a little bit up and down, but as you can see from the start of it, it's quite accessible around here. Now, these were the gas works that I was telling you about, all the gas canisters 
storage, which are now private flats. And there were a number of them here. I believe there were four of them. And uh, we've got three of them converted into flats. I'm going to show you the fourth one in just one second, because they've made it into a nice sensory garden. So this is St Pancras Lock. And beforehand, this was used as a basin for unloading. So let me tell you a bit about the Regent's Canal. As I said, opened in 1820. But the reason the Regent's Canal was built was to link the Grand Union Canal, which goes through to the Midlands of the UK, almost down to London. I think you can get onto the Thames around by Hampton Court over that way. But it was to link there at Paddington Basin take you around the northern part of London, central London, and link with Limehouse. Now Limehouse, fun enough, we have covered in a previous video, which is a beautiful area, but that, so, so they could get the things they were carrying on the boats round quickly to the east part of London, to the docks, to the River Thames, and then out by boat to sea, back in the 1820s. So that's the reason for that, and here, at King's Cross would have been another destination for dropping off goods to get onto the railways to take them all over the place. So there could have been goods coming up from Limehouse to here onto the trains and then taking them up. Now this is the sensory garden and as you can see lots of construction still going on, lots of luxury fats. They really have, this area has changed over the last 40 years massively. Um, but this is part of the sensory garden that they've put in this gas cylinder. So once upon a time that would have stored gas around here. Okay, and it's also known here affectionately as Gas Holder Park. Okay, let's go for a walk. Let's head down towards Camden. This will be interesting. We're going now underneath the main railway and this takes you into King's Cross St Pancras. So a very busy station in London, because not only has it got the UK routes going up to the East Midlands, but also, of course, it's got the Eurostar taking you from here to Paris, Amsterdam, Brussels, etc., etc. Um, seems to have picked the right time to come underneath here. Not a sound. Now, on the route itself of the whole canal, which is 8.6 miles long, there are three tunnels of which one is about one kilometre long that takes you underneath Islington you've got one near the start at the Paddington Basin which is over in Maida Vale and that's an area we've got to go to that's called Little Venice and we will go and film there at another time because that is beautiful with all the boats there we go all opens up um, you've got one there and then you've got another one over near Limehouse as well, which is a smaller tunnel. Also, over at Paddington Basin, you can hire a boat. Uh, there's a company called Go Boats, and you can hire boats for a little time to take you up and down the canals, which also sounds like a fantastic thing to do during summer, and it might, might just have to be one of those things that we do. Oh, look at the size of some of these. all moored up. See? Even though the technical terms. Quite wide down here as well. So plenty of space for boats to pass each other. Lots of industrial sites. I think there's some studios around here as well. Sort of TV studios. Oh yeah, there's canal side studios over there. Remember right there, I think that's MTV. Sort of broadcast from around here in the UK. And they use their UK studios. So here you've got what you'd call, I suppose, industrial canal barges. But over on the other side there, can you see that? Tables and chairs, all set up, lighting.
Now, the towpath they're walking on has actually been used by the electricity board. And they wondered at one point how they were going to get cables going from the east to the east of London, sort of the Islington area, from the west of London. And they thought, we know what we'll do. We'll put the cables by the side of the towpath and just underwater so the water keeps the cables all cool. So you've got sort of 400,000 volt cables going sort of underneath our feet. There you go. Not just used for shipping. Ah, oh, here we go. And actually, as a sign, just to confirm that, it says caution high voltage central electricity GB cables under these slabs. So there you go. Oh, maybe I won't work on those tiles. <laughs> oh, yes, I've got rubber shoes on. That's okay. Right. Backs of houses. Can you imagine the views you've got out of here? On a lovely day like this, great to come for a walk. Now, one thing we haven't seen so far, which is a massive discussion in London, is the um, cyclists. Because quite often you get cyclists. Ah, this is also part of an official walk. The Jubilee Greenway Walk, which we'll have to look into. So there's lots of walks that have been set up in London. Um, one of which we've done already, which is the first loop of the Queen's Jubilee Walk. But there are various other sort of walks to do, which are nature orientated. Oh, speak of cyclists, here we go. That's the first one we've seen. So, yeah, just going back to the cyclist part of it, there's been lots of discussions about cyclists and pedestrians sharing the towpaths, and should cyclists be allowed down? And the debates have been going on literally for, well, a couple of hundred years. But they've decided that as there's been no incidents, accidents, or anything else like that, then actually let's just keep it going. But they do keep reviewing it. Um, and as pedestrians get more wound up by cyclists, cyclists get more wound up by pedestrians. And also sometimes one of the things that really does happen on the cycling towpaths is that when you have people fishing down here and they're sitting on the side with their fishing rods going into the water, that takes up quite a bit of space for people to walk around, people to cycle past, etc. So that causes a bit of extra antagonism, which I guess we're probably not going to see today because we're filming this in February. So you've got to be quite hardy. I'm not quite sure when fishing season is. But anyway, right. There you go, just more of the flats there. There's a lovely smell down here. Not exactly environmentally friendly of uh, little coal stoves being burnt on the canal boats. I've said it before, but if YouTube had scratch and sniff, you'd get it. Just that nice little smell of coal being burnt. Okay, oh, it's coming up across more people now. Here you go, pigeons going underneath. And you've also got here, there you go, up to bridges so you can get on and off the towpath. Now, just to give you an idea, so already we've done three quarters of a mile. No, I think that's, I think that's rather over-egging it. It doesn't feel like more than a quarter of a mile that we've done already to King's Cross. Islington takes you to one of the three quarter miles. That's where the tunnel is. Camden, which is where we're heading first, is half a mile. And Little Venice, which is near the end, which is just beautiful, is two and three quarter miles. So Regent's Park is just before that, uh, after Camden Lock. Right, let's continue walking. Oh.
we continue now, we're coming, I not take this long, but we're uh, now coming past uh, underneath a bridge which takes you off towards Kentish Town already. This is quite a nice quick walk through yeah, Royal College Street. So, if you're watching this and you've got another device by the side of you, grab your Google Maps and you can see where we are. There's a little plaque there. Actually, let's zoom in on that. On the bridge. You can see that? Regents Canal, Royal College Street. And then you've got it nice and clear there as well. Right, under we go. Feel like you're in an enclosed tunnel. Me, me. Just trying to gauge, is that an office? No, it's a house. That is a house and that is a muse. Wow, look at that. So you've got some old houses, old muse houses there. And then you've got this that's been built. And look at that on the size. Whoa, nice. No mooring by the side of it, it says over there. Mind you, if you moored there, you wouldn't be able to get off with all the railings. Oh, just in case you're slightly concerned, I am watching the towpath as well as watching what's going on around as well. If you hear a splash, I wasn't watching. <laughs> okay, just more evidence of construction that's going on. Lovely, isn't it? It takes you off the beaten track. There you go, just to prove we are in London and not walking in a city in northern London. Yeah, this is the Camden Road that we're going under now. That's novel. We've even got artwork on the underside of the bridge. Wow. The question's got to be, how did they get up there to put the artwork in in the first place? Considering it's water right up to the bridge. Must have been pretty steady on a boat there. Okay. So we've got another exit up to Camden Road. Oh, I like this. So here we are. Here's our first tip if you're doing the walk and you fancy a break, you've got a canal side Costa Coffee. Excellent. Just make sure you've got your money with you. All right, I'm not gonna stop there because I thought I'd have a coffee in cold drops before we started. So if you think you're coming down here with a family, you've got young family push chairs, etc. Actually, it's very, very easy to walk. The towpath, which is just concrete slabs, is very easy. There we go, and just to prove, we've got those warnings all the way through. Ooh, we've got a duck here. Now, I'm six foot two, and I'm sort of straining at the side just to get through so I don't scratch my head. So if you're any taller than that, you're definitely gonna need to duck. Yeah, and we're out. Camden Street. And this is where we're going to. We have a head. You might be able to hear the running water. The next lock. And this is a wolf at Camden. So this might even be Camden Lock. More hen there. Kentish Town Road we're going under.
Right, so we're in the next lock. So the first lock we came to was just behind Cold Drops Yard. This is the next lock. And you know what? We're in Camden already. So just to give you an idea, that has taken a gentle pace, 17 minutes, which is not bad at all. So here, there we go. Look at that. You've got more locks, but also you're starting to see food places, shops, and the area of Camden Market. So let's carry on walking down here. We'll go past these locks and see what's alive in Camden today. Looks like some great places. Hawley Wolf. Some great places to come down to. To come and have a look, to come to investigate. I think that's got the uh, term Saturday on it for me. Now, I wonder. One of the things I like, used to love doing as a boy was um, getting on the locks and walking across. Oh, it looks like they're all gated up. I was going to be extremely naughty and sort of have a go. No. There we go. That locks up ready for anyone coming downstream. Oh, I smell of food around here. It's fantastic. There's lots and lots of places to eat and drink and canal cruises. Now, further up the river from Little Venice, you can, during the summer, get a river boat or river bus. It's a canal bus that takes you from there to Regents, from Little Venice to Regents Park. And that's another thing on the list of things we want to do and film. There's just so much to do in London, it's brilliant. Um, but uh, yeah, we've been on the river bus on the Thames, one on the Regent's Canal we haven't done. That's a cruising restaurant. So I guess during the summer that will be extremely busy. There we go a few back lovely weeping willow which is that tree over there and here we are just to confirm where we are Camden Market okay we're going to carry on a little bit further and then we'll go up and then just a quick investigate of the market Oh, ding walls, wow. Now, I would imagine that Dee Dee, who watches this, one of our regular viewers and commenters, who likes her music. Dee Dee, have you been here, ding walls? Used to be a great place for live music. I'm guessing it still is. Coffee, pub, grub, etc. Lovely. Right. Let's take a break from here and go up to Camden Market. Oh, I love the cobbles. Ah, oh, I recognise here as well. Because recently this was in a film. There we are. Camden Lock. Um, yeah, this bridge was used in the film. They actually closed this whole area down. And if you're a Marvel fan, uh, there was a film that was out recently called The Eternals. And it was very recent. It came out uh, at the end of November across the globe. And near the beginning, they were at Camden Lock. And they're actually standing on this bridge when they get attacked by aliens. Anyway, that's a different story. I'm not going to give the plot away. Apart from the fact that's probably the best bit of the film because the rest of it was pretty rubbish. Um, and all Eternals fans, oh, sorry. All Marvel fans are saying so. But that was used there. We have a gentleman with his Mohican there. Right. 
let's have a quick walk up here and round and then we'll double back because what I don't want to do is miss out any of the towpath and not bring that to you. So you have, oh look at this, you have got some things that are open today. I know Leslie who likes watching our videos will be delighted because we found a market. Jewelry. We'll go up and down to just give an idea. Oh, it's very clever. Camden Experience. Camden Market presents free entry DJ sessions taking place in the new vehicle, Camden Market Hall Wharf. A major new retail of dining space set along the banks of the Regions Canal, a few meters from the Camden wow. Market and the Wall. The free DJ sets take place each Saturday and Sunday between 12 midday and 6 p.m. For further information, head over to camdenmarket.com slash hallwharf. Camden Market Hallwharf. Great music, great food, great space. Quite a different selection of things. The here. We've got the middle. Don't want anyone telling me off that I didn't do things. Lots of comics and things. Right. Let's just pop into here because you've got an enclosed market area. Right, I'm going to admit to something now. In all my years of being a Londoner, do you know what? I don't think I've ever been to Camden Market. <laughs> How about that for an admission? Right. So we're actually on a first floor. And just to give you a scope of what's going on, that's the downstairs area. So Camden seems to be open pretty much most of the time. But on a Saturday, there was definitely much more of a bustle here. By the way, if you're hearing and you're thinking, hey, that you sound a bit muffled, it's because we've gone inside. And here in the UK, you need to put your face masks on. There's a uh, message at the front door. So apologies, I'll take it off again when we get outside. But it just it gives you an idea of some of the things they've got available. Very nice jewellery. Nice little perch up here. me it's hot frogging glasses obviously and then you've got the stairs that take you down to the lower floors One down there as well. Camden is definitely another place to come back to at another point to take in.
and to really investigate the area and bring that to you. Oh, I love that. They've got the igloos. Oh, take your mask off. They've got igloos there for eating it as well. Looks like you just go in and help yourself, as opposed to the igloos that we saw at Christmas, which cost £600 to go in for a couple of hours. Yeah. Without doubt, Camden is probably one of those places that we can come and investigate for a whole day. But do it when it really is buzzing on a Saturday. Giving you a taste anyway. They've got loads of these igloos around. I love it. Yeah. So it's all by the side of the railway, which is up there. And then you've got all of these places in the railway arches. And for food, without doubt, it's going to be one of these places to come. Love it. Come on, let's have a quick dive down. Sometimes you do these things and you just get tempted. You just go, right, come on, let's do it. Let's go for a bit of a more of a walk. So we've got around. Oh, even more down there. Oh, the smell of food is gorgeous. By the way, the video stops all of a sudden and we pick up somewhere else just because I've decided I'm going to stop and have a very early lunch. Yeah. There is loads to discover down here. And it continues. Right. Okay. So I'm just telling myself off now. We're doing a canal side walk. Let's get back to that. Camden moves up the list of places to film. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. That's brilliant. Thank you. Cheers. I'll put you, there you go. That's the Thai street food uh, part of Camden Market. Just handing out, thank you very much. Brilliant. Um, handing out bits of food. There you go. Uh, to try. I don't think they did it because they were on video. I think they were just doing it anyway. But it might have taken it back. Let's have a quick taste. Oh, this is going to get the taste buds going. Oh my word. It's pretty chicken. Mm. If you're a vegetarian, you certainly aren't going to like that, but wow. That was very nice. Charlie the Horse Exhibition. Okay. Oh, learn about our history and the significance of horses to Camden Market via our free walking tour. So you've got all different tours happening down here as well. Right, let's put this on. This is Chalk Farm Road. So this takes you from London out into the northwest of London. And you've got different shops down there. We'll just focus on that. Can you see that on the side there? Crazy place to lose a big shoe. And it all takes you underneath the Camden Lock sign. So we can get that, because that's rather nice. Go. Love it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I've got more of those, I've got half igloos over there as well. Like it. And you know what? I've got a funny feeling this is a place that Jaden's gonna love to come down as well. So I think he and I are definitely gonna have to come down here shoot some video for you and um, have a lovely Saturday okay nice right should we do it let's get back down the cobbles there you go recognize the cobbles let's head back down this is Camden oh there's a water bus the water bus is in operation fantastic let's see if we can find out a bit more information so Now, talk about London being alive. I've also just seen the canal is also alive. You have people in kayaks. Oh, yes. God, I love that.
Ah, oh, now we're going past the basin. This is the London Water Bus Company. Hola, hola. Let me sing a song. Hey, go on then. Hola, 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 hola. Top man, thank you very much. That's brilliant. See, just walk around with the camera, filming away, and people want to perform. Welcome to Camden. Love it. <laughs> Oh. Look at this, what a selection. I've got a tea bar, and this is all on the canal walk. Walk up the towpath. Oh, no, this is the water bus company. Um, here we go, booking essential. Canal boats to Little Venice. Uh, for Paddington and Warwick Avenue. So they're... Uh, Easily accessible on the Bakerloo line. Booking essential instants go free, but must be booked. So, great. That's good to know. I wonder how often. I think it's once an hour. But anyway, that's where they come to, so that's good to know. So you can get from Little Venice to Camden. Little Venice is sort of made of ale, Warwick Avenue. And let's get back on the canal path. Oh. Right, you have a bridge. Now we're going in the wrong direction. But do you know what? I don't care for a second. Let's have a look down at the views. You've got the people kayaking. There we go. Great. And they're not young people kayaking. <laughs> How long are you out for? How long do you go out for? About two hours. Wow. Is it a good price? Is it good, quite good price? Over 50s. Hey, five pounds? You're joking. Where do I sign up? Fantastic. Two hours for a fiver. Right. Yeah. Amazing. Right, Pirate Castle, thank you very much. Enjoy your time, yeah? Right, so. So this is an over 50s. Um, actually, it looks like all over 50s ladies. But five pounds for two hours of canoeing at the Pirate Castle, which you can see actually is up in the distance. So we'll have a look there. Um, I must admit that's whetted my appetite. If it's only a fiver for over 50s. Oh! Um, and then let's just give you a view. So that was Dingwalls, and that's the place that we walked up into Camden Market. Oh, I love. It. Do you know what? There's something about a weeping willow tree. Obviously, when spring comes and the leaves will be on there, it'll look gorgeous. But then down into Lockside here at Camden, with the river buses in, the water buses, and all of the different street food venues. I think we found a great new place for street food. Might rival Borough. Now, the other thing I was going to say, which has been quite enlightening for anyone walking, uh, watching from outside of the UK, we're well, outside of London. So London is renowned for being a, one of those places where you go to, you put your head down, and you don't communicate with anyone else. You don't talk to anyone else. Here we go, they're all sort of heading back. You don't talk to anyone else. Uh, you keep yourself to yourself. I'll just show you some of these apartments, by the way, as I'm walking up this bridge. Um, but as you can see, you can go to different bits and everyone's happy to talk. Great. Although, I wouldn't try starting a conversation on the train because people will look at you as if you are a loon. Okay. Let's continue our walk round to Regent's Park. I was quite surprised actually how quick that journey took us from King's Cross all the way round to Camden. Just over 15 minutes. And if you're on a boat, you've got a landing stage here. Although you can't moor, so you can just drop off. Uh -huh, there's, the, there's the canoes coming towards us. All right, let's continue the walk. So 
So we are going now under Oval Road. So, got your Google Maps out? Oval Road, that's where we're going under. There's a train going over a bridge in the distance there. Hmm. It's nice, very atmospheric for the dark. Don't think I'd ever. Ah, here we go. Pirate Castle. Love that. That mosaic on there. By the way, I'm doing that for the mosaic, not for the advertising of the Pirate Castle and their boats. But then, <laughs> when you look round, look at that. Quite a few. Quite a few boats. Lovely. So, canoeing in central London. Love it. beautiful day for doing a walk like this. The sun is out and even though it's winter, midwinter, it's beautiful. You can hear the wildlife as well. Oh, and you've also got other people out and about filming. Filming, oh, probably filming these guys. There we are. Oh, coming up. Right. Gloucester Avenue. Here we go. London Zoo. We must be almost upon because there's no distance. Camden Lock, we've just left. King's Cross now one and a half miles. Feels nothing like that. But anyway, Little Venice is two miles away. So let's keep going. That's what I love about London. You're never more than a few seconds away from more construction going on. Oh, here we go. Camden visitor mooring. Maximum seven day stay free of charge. Wow, in London, free of charge. Don't get to hear that often. Extended stay charges, 25 pounds per day after seven days. And single moored narrowboats only. Yeah. Which is interesting because it says quite clearly down here, no mooring. Okay, oh, I must be down here. All right. Oh, it's just, sorry, it's just the smell of coal. And you can probably just see it from that chimney coming off the top of the boat there. You can see the smoke. Oh, might stand here for a couple of hours. Now look at these houses. Just give you a a view round. These are all private houses. And I'm not quite sure, but my imagination, no, someone has got a cow in their back garden in central London, albeit a plastic one, but certainly something surreal for people to look at. I'm just gonna stand back because we're gonna have a cyclist go past. But then you're backing onto this water here as well. And interestingly, that one over there not only backs on, but they've got stairs going down and a mooring. So, <laughs> whilst you can't get a house on the Thames of your own like that in this part of the world, you certainly can on the Regent and have your own mooring station as well for your own boat. Love it.
And there you go, like that, that people have. Okay. Regent's Park Road already. Now, this is interesting, we have a photo shoot going on ahead. Look at that place. Sorry, just, Ooh. wow, very nice. With its own landing as mooring as well. Brilliant, right. Regent's Park Road. Hi there. Hi. Don't worry. <laughs> Someone obviously having their shots taken. Right. That's Regent's Park Road. We're almost there. Almost at Regent's Park already. What a fantastic way to get round north of the West End. On foot, but by the side of the canal. Now, over our head, just through the trees there, can you see that? And the purple, that is the top of the post office tower. here no it's not a water temple it's the Feng Shang Chinese restaurant <laughs> and a footbridge that takes you straight into Regent's Park Let's just have a look. So we're on the. This is the Prince Albert Road. On the footpath. There we go. Just to give you an idea. Love it. And these maps are all scattered around, so it really does help you. So we are just here, and this is all Regent's Park. And the canal goes right round the outside. So the canal goes right round the outside of Regent's Park here and then eventually goes and disappears off at St John's Wood. St John's Wood of course famous for the cricket ground. And if we carry on a little bit further you get to London Zoo which is coming up on the left hand side. Which is great. To give you an idea that bridge was constructed in 1864 so the canal was opened and then they decided to put that bridge going across to take it into Regent's Park let's just take a walk up there and have a look at the views going down across the canal Just goes to show as well, everything is just so accessible here because you've got lots of steps going up, but also they put ramps in as well. So if you're in a mobility scooter or a chair, it's actually to get up and down. And the tow paths are nice and easy as well. All right. Regent's Park. which is massive, but beautiful. And we're actually in the northern part. So we're gonna walk back and we're gonna 
walk back through the broad walk which takes you right back through the center and then down towards Regent's Park on the underground. No skateboarding or cycling. <laughs> yeah, good luck about one in London, policing that. Right. Now over here, these buildings are all part of London Zoo. Just over here. So the zoo itself is about a five minute walk further on as you might have seen on that sign just now. But that's the public area. London Zoo is also open. Uh, or it has lots of science work, lots of animal conservation things that happen. Oh look, our uh, canoeists have come and joined us down here at the basin here at Regent's Park. So we're just on the edge here of London Zoo. Great. just take you onto the ring road and I know I've said it before but London is just so open with greenery it's a great place to come and if you're coming here in spring where you've got the blossom coming here in summer where you've got the weather well hopefully then it's a brilliant place to come because it is just so open and this is just part of it that's Regent's Park and also just to give you an idea how close everything is I showed you the post office tower which is sort of north of the city let's just zoom in past those dogs over there and you can see the two tin spires of a church but just behind that is the unmistakable top of the shot there you go now if you can hear commentary behind me it's London Zoo so there's a tour going on in London Zoo which is over there just behind those shrubs and behind the bushes so people have been taken around within the zoo enclosure London Zoo itself only takes up probably about an eighth of Regent's Park as a whole so the park is massive and we have covered that in another video and I will put a link to that at the end of this video so you can click on that and see Regent's Park. But I can't wait for spring because all the leaves will be back and this will just be alive down here. So this path takes you all the way down to Regent's Park tube station which is on the Bakerloo which then takes you into the heart of London's West End within a few stops. So I hope you've enjoyed our walk around the Regent's Canal, walking from King's Cross all the way round to Regent's Park, which I've probably taken, if I hadn't stopped at Camden, um, probably taken about 30 minutes. So it's not that far at all, but it gets you around a fair bit of North London, so taking you around that northern stretch there. But it's a great thing to come and do in London because the walk is just beautiful. And if you've got a good day's weather, and when I talk about good day's weather, basically it's not raining and doesn't look like it's gonna rain, then the path is so easy, doable for everyone, for, uh, for families, for anyone that needs to do it, because uh, it's just nice and flat. And you get some great views at the back of some of the houses and some of the boats and some of the things going on. And then stopping off at Camden Market is just an added bonus. And then of course you get here to Regent's Park wonderful so i really hope that you've enjoyed our coverage of that walk around uh, the regent's canal 
One of the things we're looking to do in the future is to do another walk, but this time the River Thames, going from Putney Bridge all the way to Tower Bridge, taking in as much of the views of the Thames as possible as we're walking uh, all the way to Tower Bridge, which is a longer walk. I think it's about 26 miles, like a marathon. Uh, but that's something we will be doing in the future. Probably going to have to split it into little sections, otherwise never going to get the coverage on that. But if there's anything else that you fancy us doing for you, any other walks, any other tours um, around London, then do please let us know in the comments. Also, if you've enjoyed the video, please do give us a thumbs up. What it does, it really helps YouTube to know that actually other people need to see this video so we can help other people to love London as well. And with summer coming, spring coming in London, what a great time for other people to discover London as well so we can help them with that. Thanks very much for watching as always. I'm gonna put a video up here for you which is a Regent's Park. Um, Regent's Park we covered, we went to last year and it's a beautiful place. Um, sitting in there at the moment, I'm just about to walk back through, but it's such a great place with the fountains, uh, also with the rose garden as well. You can almost smell the roses. So please do click on that video and we'll see you in there. Thanks for watching.